What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I am at Peterborough, ready for the Warner's Peterborough show. Mevy's arrived, John's here, Mandy's here, Tasha's moved up to there, just waiting for John to arrive with the cats. Jeb and Campbell are here for Harlem's Hammocks, and obviously I'm here. Should be, hopefully, if the weather holds, a great weekend. Got loads of talks that we're doing, and uh, yeah, can't wait. So let's crack on. <laughs> just in the food area. Eating again, are we? Oh, mate. Eating again, God. are we? What we got there? What What's we got there? What are you having? No, I'm not that. <laughs> 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 I had to do it. I had to do it. <laughs> right, just uh, let, me, let me turn around in the sun. Just um, done me uh, talk, uh, first talk of the weekend. Six years living in a motorhome home on the road. What I've learned and what I changed went down brilliant. Loads of people turned down for that. So if you did come, I really appreciate you coming and uh, listening to that talk. Thank you very much. So yeah, uh, the weather's been a bit on and off this morning, but the sun has come out now and uh, looks really good. There's loads of people out, loads of stalls. Uh, the gang are just getting a bit of food at the moment and then they're gonna have a little look around and then uh, yeah, chill out. All the talks are done for today. Got loads uh, more coming up for tomorrow. And uh, we'll see what happens for the rest of the day. Right, back at the motorhome, and whilst we're all just chilling out, having a talk, I am knee deep in cameras here. I'm gonna stick a few to the side of the motorhome and try and get my CCTV up and going. I've decided to go with the Blink uh, video doorbells. I'm not sure how it's gonna work, but I've got a few ready. Like, I've got an angle uh, bracket here. So I'm gonna put one on each corner, one on the back, I'm not sure about the front yet because not really many places to stick it apart from the windscreen. Going to test it with VHB tape, uh, double-sided VHB tape. Um, a very high bond. <laughs> See, I know, I know. Uh, stick them on, hopefully they'll be all right. And then I can adjust the angles on these, hopefully, so I can see down both sides and then see from the back. It's just so I can see whilst I'm away from the motorhome. Um, it's not really to stop burglars or anything like that. I mean, it will be a deterrent, I suppose. Um, but it's mainly just so whilst I'm parked up and I go for a bike ride or I'm fishing, I can check that my home is there, see if anyone's hanging around it and just, it's just peace of mind. That's all it is really. So there's the first one. Now, you might all be going, oh, why wow, that looks a bit stupid, da 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 da. Yeah, it might, it might. <laughs> and they might, you know, they could come off and people could, you know, touch them and knock them and press them and, and they can press the bell as well. I could have put them up higher, but I didn't want one to have to, I wanted to be able to see people. If someone is coming down the side, I want to be able to see head level. I had um, them on the other one and they, they're high. So you can't really see, you only saw people at the top of people's heads, which wasn't the best. So that one can see all the way down that side. I mean that right there on my screen, I can see that toilet block from that camera, they're that wide angle. Then I've got one on the back, and then I've got one this side. Haven't done anything for the front yet, still thinking about that one, um, and I need another bracket. Um, but we'll see how they go. I mean, like I say, 35 quid, I can have a look. They're all attached to my um, Wi-Fi, and then I can have a look when, um, you know, if I go to the entertainment tonight, I can then have a look at them at home, I can see, how they're doing and what I can see um, and make sure it's all, all still there. I'm gonna put one inside the garage, uh, an inside one, and I'm gonna put one of the inside ones in the lounge area so then I can see inside the motorhome as well. Um, and if someone opened the garage door, it would sit in there. It's for my own peace of mind when I'm parked up, I know the motorhome's okay and I know it's still where I left it. Um, <laughs> it's not moving. Um, that's kind of it really, while I'm fishing or on a bike ride or wherever. I want to know it's it's okay. So last night whilst we were in the motorhome, I was talking to Steve and uh, I said this area of the motorhome is a bit dark. Now I've got lights around my bed, but that means you have to really lean over and press that button there to get these two lights here. That's not the greatest hardship in the world, but again, that's only for the bedroom, but I need a little bit, a little bit of light here. I've got under counter lights here um, and I've got light down that end, but I'd like a bit of light here. So Steve was saying he was in uh, Ikea the other day and he saw something that was uh, really good and he bought bought a couple. Um, I think this is what it's called. It's a Rolf, Rolf, Rolf Stop, Rolf Stop. It's basically a light which can be powered by USB. Uh, that comes with that, that wire, it's quite a long wire. 
um, or it can take three AAA batteries. And it's got these sticky pads, and you can slide them on and off. So, and it really, it's really bright, really bright. I'm gonna, I'm already, I'm de definitely gonna use it. I'm gonna put it up, stick it up here somewhere. But I've already seen, I'm already gonna get another one for the wardrobe. Uh, there is a little light here some uh, previous owner must have put in, which does that. You know, it's not the worst thing, but look at this. If I put this up here, and obviously I'm holding it, so my hands are in the way at the moment, but look at this. Look how much light there is. Look at this thing. And if I put that up there, that's going to be great. Just being able to see in there so easily. And then you've got three different settings, so bright medium dim and then hold it and it turns off that's going to offer some serious light in this area which is just what it needs these are great i think he said they're about six quid i can't see being a problem sticking them up but if you have if you do need light in your motorhome um yeah definitely check them out ikea look at that <laughs> i've just stuck it to the roof there easy you can run it, you know, via USB, but like I say, I've got three batteries in there. Um, that is on its brightest mode. Don't know how long it lasts. I could maybe put some under the underfloor, just so I can angle it. And then if I do, when I'm down there, I just want to press the button and get a bit of light. Maybe. The show has kicked off brilliantly. Uh, the talks are going down amazing, but I am cream crackered. I love doing these talks. I love meeting people but it does take it out of you. Um, just, just making sure, just like the thinking of, you know, am I going to get it all right? Have I got to remember it? Got to do this on stage? You know, and just trying to give the best talk and the most informative talk I can. It, yeah, does take it out of you. And I can't wait to jump in bed. Late last year, I worked with Emma, with an Emma mattress and their topper, and uh, they sent me, it was absolutely amazing because I wanted to improve my sleep um, to improve my health. Um, hence the ring, um, I've already explained that that's a sleep tracker and a health tracker. So, um, and it really has, now I've gone full time, I really want to try and get away from, because I've been working on nights for like 10 years, so I'm trying to get out of that, um, out of that routine and back onto a normal routine of sleeping during the night, getting a good night's sleep to improve my health, to improve everything and just to have the most energy to then go out and enjoy the day and, and you know and do everything I want to do. Um, and the Emma mattress has really helped me with that and the topper is amazing. But they got in touch and said, how am I getting on with that? And uh, I said it was brilliant. Um, and then they said, would I like to try their duvet and their new and their pillows? Um, which uh, just to see if I can improve my sleep anymore. And I was like, hell yes definitely want to try it now i'm really like i say now i'm trying to focus on getting out of that nighttime habit and getting a good night's sleep to improve my health um and just have more energy i was like i'm definitely up for that i cannot wait so they've sent it over to me i've been trying it for uh, for a couple of weeks now and they are absolutely brilliant i went for a bigger size for my duvet so i can really snuggle down this is a six six and a half tog um do they? I know they do a winter one or they do a com combination one as well. So if you are looking for things uh, for different ones, they've got them. These are pillows, they are so soft. I mean, they just cradle my neck. I've found that I'd move a lot less in my sleep now. I was quite a mover, but I move a lot less now um, because I'm cradled if you are looking for a new mattress a top up pillows or duvet or anything like that, then don't miss out on Emma's huge sale, which is up to 50% off and just because you know me, you get an extra 5% discount if you use this code here. Why not check them out? Because they come with 200 night risk-free trial. And 10 year warranty. No brainer. Look at this bed. I can't wait to jump in this bed every night now. I know I'm gonna get a great night's sleep. And uh, yeah, it is down. It really is improving things for me. So cheers, Emma. Thank you very much. Back at the motorhome, not really filmed much today, been doing quite a few talks, so I've done two talks back to back, me, Tash and Kat done a talk about full time van life, uh, we've done a Q&A panel, uh, but we're all back at the motorhomes, 
just uh, chilling out, um, all hanging out with each other. We just got my awning out, um, made sure that was all okay because I've never got it out. Um, greased all the uh, joints and that, made sure it was all, all okay. Um, I'm going to look uh, around the show tomorrow to find uh, some straps for it so, um, so I can stake it in the ground. So when I do get it out, then it's not going to, um, you know, there's less chance of it blowing around and it is a big awning. I mean, <laughs> as you can see from there, all the way down. Yeah, we're all just uh, chilling around camp now. There is some entertainment going on tonight. Um, I'm not sure. I think it's ABBA. Not really my scene. Uh, I might go down and have a little walk, walk around, but to be fair, I'm pretty knackered. Um, got one more talk tomorrow. I'm going to do some little browsing tomorrow, have a look around, see what what's about, see if I can buy any bits and bobs, you know. Got to have a little look, haven't you? Um, but I've just chucked some sausages in the air fryer. Um, yeah, going to chill out, have some food, and then see what the evening brings. Probably just a nice chill evening, really. Just finished my last talk of the Warner Show. Me, John, and Steve, Essential Tech and Gadgets. Been an absolute brilliant show. Now having a little wander around all the stalls, um, just chilling out, seeing what's, seeing what's about. I need to buy a few little bits. Um, yeah, gonna have a little wander around. Last night, uh, the girls went off to the entertainment. I think they had uh, ABBA, ABBA playing, uh, which was pretty good, apparently. They, they loved that. A few of the lads, we uh, stayed in and had a movie night. We watched Top Gun Maverick on the, uh, on the projector screen in the uh, land yacht, which was brilliant. A few little snacks. That is exactly what this motorhome is for. Being able to have people around, chill out, watch a movie, enjoy, just have a great flipping time with my mates. Love it, love it. Right, let's have a look around. Spoke cheddar with a sweet pepper. Some garlic here. Very creamy, nice oh. and strong. Hold your bag up, Nandy. Oh. What is that? Let me have a look. Oh. Okay. Good. Handbags are dawn. <laughs> Don't do it. I'm not going to buy it. <laughs> Canopy out, a nice carpet. I'll do my yoga. Do you yoga, get the, um, the executive table out. Be down with dog. I want to know what you're You, you want to oh. see that? Nah. So I went past this uh, stand yesterday and it's a salt and pepper pot, but it's for like your keychain. The design's great. I mean, it's not a cheap item, it's a luxury item, um, which I'll show you when I go back to the motorhome, but it's brilliant, it's brilliant. And it's got loads of little magnets so I can stick it all around the motorhome and it will just stay there. And I've got salt and pepper right where I need it. Yeah, do you reckon they're too much? I mean, they're, they're good. I mean, I've got to try and wipe that in. Yeah, they're good. I've used them because you can pull them out. These ones? Yeah, they're, they're, that's why I've been using the pattern. They don't come out there. <laughs> Am I the link? I'm the, yeah, everyone gets me bees. I was going to get you that and you couldn't reject it. Thank you, Bob. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go straight away. Oh, yeah. Very yeah. detailed stuff. Yeah. yeah. You want, want to Maybe I should wrap my mum home like that. That's beautiful. The land yacht could be uh, in disguise. It would be stealth. It would be stealth. And yeah. you could have you on your fishing boat in it as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or I just uh, get a housing estate on it. <laughs> and then I can park up. Uh, I can park up in urban areas again. Got some cheese. Got four lumps of cheese. Four for 20 quid. And you get, I tried them all. Ah, oh, brilliant cheese. Brilliant, brilliant cheese. Um, got a few little bits and bobs, which I'll show you when I get back to the motorhome. home. Um, a salt and pepper pot. Just walking past this amazing fudge stand. Now, me, obviously I'm in keto, I can't, I can't have fudge, but I bought a couple of blocks for uh, my mum and uh, um, my sister-in-law, because I know they'll scoff them. I know, I know my sister-in-law will love it, so yeah, they, uh, John's bought four, four blocks. Four blocks. And four we got blocks. some from the Harrogate show as well, yeah. it's amazing. Yeah, stuff. he's going to be at a uh, camper van camp out, so definitely, uh, if you are coming to that show, then make sure you go find him and uh, grab some fudge. Just go back to the motorhome, uh, winding down now. Most people are just uh, having a last look, little look around. Show's slowly coming to an end. But this is what I bought. Got myself a little uh, tyre pressure gauge, uh, just to check things. Needed a pair of scissors. Well, I have a little pair for the, for the drawer. I've got a bigger pair in the cupboard, but they can be in the cutlery drawer. Um, I've got some more um, pegs. Because I want to get the awning lash downs for my awning, so I've got all. I tried to get them here, but they sold out. So I need to have a look online, and then I can use these. Uh, they're pretty, pretty uh, heavy duty. 
uh, to you know stake in. So when I am on a place, on a meetup or a campsite or something, and I want to get the awning out, I can lash it down and it uh, ain't going nowhere. Got my cheese, lots and lots of cheese. I've got a Lancaster bomber, couple of flagships, and I've got this nice one, which is smoky pepper and garlic. Really nice cheese that is. And that's the uh, the new salt and pepper pot. So it is magnetic. So you've got the, you know, you've got two ends. There's the, you know, salt can come out of there. And you can have pepper in there. I'll probably have two different types of salt or something. And it comes with these little magnets. You can also attach it to a key ring with that hole there. But it, I will. It's great little uh, bit of engineering, British engineering. It's a little bit heavy for on my key ring, I suppose. Um, I've got quite a lot of my keys as it is. I think we're gonna just probably chill out for the rest of the, the rest of the afternoon. Maybe get some food, go on the go in a bit. I need to do some washing up. Uh, do that, then probably get some food on the go, and then probably all just chill out in the land yacht. Um, and yeah, just have a little catch up and chill out because we'll all be on the road again in well tomorrow. We'll all be on the road again tomorrow, um, heading our separate ways until camper van camp out which i cannot wait for um you still you can buy tickets on the door uh camping tickets on the door so if you are thinking about coming then definitely make your way down there and uh yeah buy some tickets on the door because online sales have now stopped um but it's going to be an absolute bagging weekend i can't wait for that one uh, i think we're going to make our way over to the harvester for a little bit of grub a couple of drinks and a nice little uh unwind after the weekend you know all the talks are done show's over um yeah we're all gonna be parting ways uh, i will be seeing tash and mevy in about 10 days time because we'll be at camp van camp out but john and Mandy are gonna be going on their travels so we'll be saying bye to them um yeah so let's go to the harvester now last week i went to a way bridge as you can see here uh had uh the land yacht weighed um, on the way bridge and I got you lot I was a bit mean I, I admit that I was a bit mean I got you lot to put your guesses in the comments below and I said I'd tell you next week well it is now next week so I'm going to tell you what the land yacht weighs and who got it right who got it spot on so there were three people that got it spot on but the first person that came in and got it right was Mikey Mann so I've actually dropped a comment on one of his videos uh, on his channel um, and I've been in contact with Mikey. So I'll send him some, some merch. Um, nice one, mate. You've got it spot on. And now I'm actually going to show you the ticket. So, drum roll, please. <laughs> the Land Yacht weights 4,720 kilos, as you can see just there. And I've got to say, I've taken about 50 kilos out this weekend whilst I'm at the show because I had a few bits for people. And I've got probably another 15 kilos. So about 60 kilos is going to be out of the motorhome by the time this video comes out, which doesn't mean anything by the time it comes out. But um, that means I will be uh, roughly sitting about four... 4650 give or take so for 4.6 ton 4.6 yeah which means i've got 350 kilo x still payload i've got 350 payload still oh that is beautiful that is beautiful now i did have half a tank so let's just say what i've taken out uh this weekend i'll replace that with the fuel so let's just say i'm sitting at 4.7 um and then i can still have 300 kilos of stuff if i really need it um so when i've got passengers that's pretty good um and i'm pretty sure because i've been walking around the show someone said i might even be able to if i really needed it which i don't think i'm gonna it might just be for passengers if i was really gonna carry like four people and we're going on a trip I could probably uprate it. I've got, I've got to check with, uh, I think, like SV Tech or something. Um, I did get the book. Uh, here we go. I got the brochure. Um, I've got to take some photos and things. I might actually be able to uprate uh, the Land Yacht to uh, five and a half ton because of the chassis it's built on and because it's a tag. It might just be a paperwork exercise. I might have to change tyres. I'm not sure. I don't even know if I'd do that yet. Um, but yeah, it is a possibility. 
Um, and then it'll be at five and a half time. Then, you know, that, that 300 kilos then goes to 800 kilos of payload on top of what I've already got in here, which is freaking incredible because I've got quite a lot of gear. I've got my, I've got my bike in here. I've got all my fishing gear. I've got my barbecues. I've got my ice maker. I've got, what else have I got? I've got a stuff. I've got a few eco flows in here. I've got my actual system, my electrical system. I've got solar on the roof. I've got air fryer. I've got a nice fridge and my fridge is fully stocked to food. Um, I, yeah, I am rocking and rolling. I've got all my clothes and I've got at least 300 kilos of, I've got at least, you know, 300 kilos of payload to play with at the, at the worst, at the worst. Um, but. If I did potentially upgrade it, then I, I could have a 800 kilos, which is freaking, I mean, that is mental on top of what I've already got. But yeah, so there it is. The Land Yacht weighs 4.72 tons. I uh, appreciate all your guesses. Uh, there were some really wacky ones in there. A um, few cheeky ones. But yeah, there we go. That is it for the Peterborough Show 2023. And that is it for... The Peterborough shows because the, sh the showground has been sold, so there won't be any more shows at this showground. As you can see, people are leaving. A few people are getting towed off. Uh, one down there with a tractor um, because it is a little bit damp down there. Um, as you can see, the rubbish is piling up. Um, yeah, so that is it. I've had a brilliant time at this show. I'm now going to be making my way over to to camper van camp out. Uh, I think I've got a few, a few a few stops on the way before I get to camper van camp out, but I can't wait to get to that one. Got a few talks to that one and it's gonna be, it's a brand new show. They've got so much going on, so much uh, music, so much uh, entertainment. It's gonna be banging. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.